Okay, we should be live here soon. Takes a little bit to get it going. Yeah, I have the notification that the meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. So. Okay, awesome. Okay, and then I want to go in here so that if people have questions, I can see them. I don't know if it's working. I see a shadow of a cat on Emily's screen. Okay, I'm going to start. With Actually, it was a dog. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, I, I saw an animal over. shadow. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make him come over, but he only likes to chase the spots, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we are recording now, um, and it's, it's supposedly live, but um, it tells me on the page that we're having trouble playing the video. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, for those of you who are maybe able to see the video live, um, <clears throat> whoops, wrong one. We'll be watching the comments after we're done so that we can answer any questions that you have or address them in our next oily fireside chat. So welcome, we get together every Tuesday evening, I always say Wednesday, but it's actually Tuesday evening at eight o'clock Central Standard Time. And this is just a chance for all of us oil lovers to get together and talk about how we like using our oils and give each other tips and tricks and basically help everyone get every drop out of their investment in oils. Um, for those of you who are watching on Facebook, Make sure you say hi and interact with us because that's what we like. We don't want to just talk to ourselves. Um, so um, if you're watching the replay, we also like to know that so that we can know how many people we're reaching and how to watch for questions that you might have to address next time. So just type replay in the comment box so that we can uh, watch for that. And that's all the housekeeping things that I have. So welcome. I don't know who Hi. wants to get started with their week using Young Living products or oils. Well, we can get real personal right off the bat if we want. <laughs> what better way to kick it off? <laughs> I'm going to talk periods. So guys, tune in in like two to three minutes. Just skip this section. <laughs> so um, I really love... Um, Dragon Time massage oil that is like fantastic and Luke loves it as well the first time we ordered Dragon Time not the massage oil but the essential oil blend it was kind of a joke um, <clears throat> so I'm on essential rewards which is the monthly program the monthly order program and um, so I was slipping through the catalog and I didn't really know what to get and I was really frustrated about the I don't even remember what but I kind of like chucked the catalog at Luke and I was like what do you want to order this month I just don't know we we use this one we use this one but we have enough of the, and I was just like going off on him because you know it was girl time and he's like flipping through the catalog like just trying to stay out of my way and he's like hmm dragon time this this looks like a very interesting oil and so like as a joke we ordered it and it smells amazing but also he did a blind like not placebo test but a blind test the next time I had my period he put some in the diffuser and within five minutes I was like stop nagging him and being frustrated with him and pestering him like it's that strong of a um hormone balancer an emotional balancer kind of an oil blend so that one's fantastic and when you have your period getting a back massage or so, shul, shul, shoulder massage <laughs> with it also really helps because it gets those oils on you topically and then the other thing I wanted to talk about with periods is um pre-babies I had endometriosis so like 
my periods were so painful. There was one period I was doing my internships at the hospital and I literally crawled from my vehicle to the emergency room doors. Like I, I couldn't stand, I couldn't walk and it's the middle of winter. I couldn't call anyone for help. So I crawled from my Jeep to the ER doors to do my internship and then they sent me home, but I couldn't get back to my vehicle. So Luke had to come pick me up. So that's how painful my periods were. Okay. Like crazy painful. Um, pre kids, while I was still dealing with this, I learned the trick of doing a rollerball of peppermint and some lavender on your, the front where you're cramping really bad and on your back, just directly behind that. And oh my word, like mitol, ibuprofen, Tylenol, acetaminophen, none of those things were Excedrin. I tried Excedrin PM and the regular, none of them worked for these period cramps but the peppermint and the lavender, boom. Like, I'm not gonna say no pain, but holy cow, I could walk, I could do a workout, I could go for a swim. I was not crawling across the ground from my par car to my parking lot to the ER anymore. So like, there you go. Those are my tips for period. There, there's a bunch of other stuff, but those are my top, the dragon time and then the lavender and peppermint. Those are, I could not survive periods without those three oils, so. I actually have a friend who uses dragon time for abdominal discomfort, uh, discomfort um, during her time of the month. And she says it really helps with cramping. The actual dragon time okay. oil also helps her, so. Cool. Yeah, I haven't that. tried that. I use my peppermint and my lavender. I tried well, doing something that works. It's like, why mess with it? <laughs> right, exactly. Yep. Awesome. Um, so I actually have been using um, a different product this week than maybe most people would be surprised to hear. Um, as soon as Safer at Home order was lifted and we were kind of I was venturing out of the house more to go grocery shopping because I was really avoiding it and um, gas stations and whatnot. Um, I picked up uh, a bacterial throat bug and I get these a few times a year. Um, thankful for the nurse line who was able to prescribe me. It's a benefit we have at work and they were able to prescribe me antibiotics, which I know that I need. I've gone through this a number of times before not one of those people who shies away from antibiotics if they're needed. Um, and it was very, very helpful in clearing it up. You know, within three days, I was feeling better. But the problem with antibiotics, as we've all lived and experienced and know, is that not only do they kill the harmful bacteria that's causing your infection, they also kill all of the good bacteria mm -hmm. um, in your gut. And oftentimes after you are done with a regimen of antibiotics, your gut just does not feel very good. So mm -hmm. I had a ton of bloating. Like I would eat and five minutes later, it'd be like three sizes bigger. Like not, we all know that's not an exaggeration. You really bloat up if you don't have that good gut bacteria. So I've been using Life9, this mm -hmm. stuff, is super potent and powerful. It says to take a capsule every night. I will be honest that um, as I was taking the antibiotics, I was taking one in the morning and one in the evening to kind of boost more of those good probiotics into my system. Um, the bottle says that it's a combination of nine beneficial bacteria strains. So that's quite a few. Um, that promote natural digestive balance and support a healthy immune system. And supporting your gut health is really crucial to having a good, healthy, functioning immune system. Um, it says it's targeted release capsules allow the cultures to bypass the stomach, improving overall product efficacy, which is awesome. And I was looking here at how many strains. Oh, I must have seen it in the catalog because it doesn't say it now, but I was shocked to find how many active cultures were in here. So it has a number of strains, but it has tons of active cultures. Um, here we go, 17 billion active cultures um, in one pill. 
and um, I compared it to some of the popular brands and the price is right up there with it. Like it's not any more expensive. I think I compared it to Philips Colon Health, which is a pretty common one just to know the price. Um, and if you're on ER, you're probably getting it even a little bit cheaper. Um, so this has been a lifesaver for me um, to deal with kind of the gas and the bloating and the stomach issues you get um, after being on antibiotics. And it's something I try to take regularly anyway, but super helpful after this. So this has been my lifesaver and what I definitely wanted to talk about this week. Awesome. Anyone else? Um, after one of the last firesides, you had talked about the bug insect repellent. Man, I love that stuff. <laughs> I was mowing the lawn the other day and I just put it on like the parts that are out. Like I was wearing like capri pants. So I put them on like my ankles. I saw a mosquito land on me and then just fly away. And I was like, man, this is awesome. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, I've also been using the sunscreen a lot, which I really like. Um, it's been a while since I've used like a, like a creamy type like that versus the lotion. Um, so that took a little bit of getting used to, but it really helps. I haven't had a sunburn yet. So it's been fantastic. It's been a good summer purchase so far. Glad I used that last one. <laughs> good. So I have a funny There's story that. actually about the insect repellent. <clears throat> we were up looking at a vacant property that we're interested in purchasing up in the UP of Michigan. And the mosquitoes there this time of year, um, as you can imagine, are just crazy like they are anywhere else. But I mean, being in the woods and whatnot, they were like carrying you away. And I was pretty generous uh, putting the insect repellent on my face and the back of my neck. We, it was cooler, so I had long sleeves on anyway. Well, anyway, we were doing some work with the soil evaluation on the property. And the lady doing the test comes out with her fancy mosquito net hood on her jacket. Um, a guy walking his dog walked by with the mosquito net on, like, coming off of his brimmed hat. And then they had a guy out there flagging for service, and he stopped by to see what was going on. And he also had a mosquito net. And I remembered thinking, like, that's just not a, a thing around here by us. But the mosquitoes are clearly so thick, right, that the people in the UP wear these nets. And this guy looks at me, the, the last guy who stopped, and he goes how are you guys surviving without your mosquito nets on? And John and I looked at each other, we're like, we didn't even know that was a thing. And the mosquitoes were staying away from me. And I had it pretty, again, pretty liberal um, on my face and my neck. And so I'm chalking it up to that repellent for keeping them away and having us not have to use those nets. Did you tell him about Young Living and add him to your team? Oh yeah, right. He was pretty quick out of there, but I did share it with the soil tester afterwards. Um, she, being another scientist and enjoying nature, I thought she would appreciate it, but she didn't say too much after that. Awesome. Any other questions we can answer? Might be a quick one tonight. That's okay. Awesome. Well, for those of you who catch the replay, if you have any questions about any of the products we're, we talked about or want some more information on them, shoot them in the comments. Tessa and I will be watching um, to make sure that we answer them. And then just a reminder, we do this every Tuesday at eight o'clock. So um, if you have questions, you can submit them to us ahead of time if you can't make it and we'll talk about them here. Um, otherwise, we'd love for you to join us and share your experience with oils. Um, and if you want to ask your question live, you can or we can just um, answer it when we're chatting next week. Yeah. All right. So I hope everyone has a great rest of their week and we'll see you here next Tuesday at eight o'clock. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. See you later.